Hello, 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 hello people, how are we all doing? It is another day, it is uh, almost 8 o'clock on my end, so last week we saw the Rustor rotation happen uh, like 3 hours before the current time it is now. So last week was ridiculous because it was wipe day, wipe day had an update, and that usually has an earlier um, Rustor rotation with it and whatnot. But with today, it's just a regular boring old nothing day, so yeah, it's going to be a bit later as per usual. So what are we here for? Well, we're here for Rustor Rotation. Yes, new skins will be appearing soon, but we don't know exactly when. It just happens whenever Face Punch feels like it. <laughs> so shall we just get started with talking about what we saw last night? Um, that being the abnormal skins. So, we saw the likes of the Minted Gold Large Box, Tempered Sheet Metal Door, we saw the Blackout SMG, Elite Crate MP5, and the Raven Poncho appear last night. They are abnormal, they appear at an earlier time, and with that, we could look at these right now and suggest... Should we jump in and buy some of these from the Rust Store? We still have time. We could still buy them right now, and then, yeah, you get the idea. So this is a $3.49 skin. You could go to the Rust Store right now and buy this. But do I want to? Is there enough support with the buy orders to, you know, make that decision? And from what I can see, the buy orders are only going up to about $2.10. The bulk of it is at around $2, and then there's another bulk of it around $1.30, $40. So, no, I would not jump in and buy that. I would not, based on what I see here, buy into this. It doesn't look like it's going to hold its value. It doesn't look like it's going to hold its price. Um, if you saw the recent video I uploaded, uh, the uh, abnormal buy orders, you'd have seen a guy accidentally put down uh, requests to buy these at $18 a piece last night. Someone bought a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of the tempered sheet metal doors for uh, $18 each. And he was a real person. <laughs> he was a real person. Um, so, yeah, very unfortunate for that guy. So, yeah, um, from what we can see here, now that those buy orders have disappeared, because people clearly sold to them, um, yeah, uh, this is nowhere close to $3.49. Not looking super strong. The bulk of it ends at around $2.10. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a higher buy order in it either. I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna buy the minted gold lodge box. Is that enough justification for you to understand that just by waiting until around now you can make a much better informed uh, 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 what am I trying to say um, <laughs> decision? That's it. Cool. How do I get words at the worst moment? I'll never know. So yeah, I'm not look. I'm not super keen in buying into the minted gold large boxes. I'm more than happy with my buy order. Now we'll look at the tempered sheet metal door. Now this is selling right now for three dollars ninety nine the rust door, and the buy orders. Well, very similar situation. <laughs> the buy orders only really going up to around so a whole bunch of them at around just over a dollar. Then there's a decent amount around two dollars, and that's it. For a $3.99 skin, I'm not seeing the uh, buy orders go up to about $3.99. So, what do you think? Is it a good idea to jump in and buy that? No! <laughs> it's not going to hold its value. Um, so, we haven't seen that many extra buy orders since last night. Last night being about 18 hours... No, 19 hours ago. Yes, 19 hours ago. I'm not seeing the extra buy orders. I'm not seeing the extra support. Does not look like a good thing to jump into. Does not look like a good thing to uh, jump in and buy out a bunch of. So, yeah. Investing-wise, I wouldn't buy it. And we have the justification right there. So, this is making better informed decisions. All right, Blackout SMG, how are you doing? Uh, you are selling in the Rust Store right now for... $2.99, and your uh, buy orders are nowhere near. <laughs> the buy orders go all the way up to around, so there's a big fat bunch here around a dollar, and then there's a decent batch around here around $1.50 up to about $1.60, and that's it. That is your $2.99 skin, and there are no buy orders close to $2.99. Bulk buy orders, I'm talking things that are quantities higher than 10. You see, it ends at around $1.66, so that's not looking very good, is it? That's not looking super keen, that does not look, that does not look like it's going to hold its value. And we talked about this last night. Custom SMGs, how high in the pecking order are they used compared to all of the other weapons? Uh, not that high. Gun demand, if it's not that very high, then people aren't going to want to use the skins that much, and therefore, prices of the skins are uh, not going to be very high, are they? So, it's all about demand, and custom SMGs just don't get used that much. Or enough to really justify the prices that these skins are selling for. That's basically it. Right, Elite Crate MP5. Again, 
very similar to the custom SMG. MP5 has lost a lot of traction in terms of usage. Not that many people use MP5s anymore. They used to get used a whole lot. Recall update happened. Don't get used that much anymore. How very unfortunate. And with that, with a lot less usage, a lot less people using the skins, and of course the prices of these skins going down. This is selling in the Rust store right now for $2.99. The buy orders that we see just to right here, nowhere near to $2.99. It will not hold its value, and it's not looking very pretty for that. So the bulk of the buy orders are kind of actually below around a dollar here, and then you've got a decent batch just over a dollar. This is a $2.99 skin. Yeah, it ain't looking pretty for you, Elite Crate MP5. It's unfortunate, but that's what we can see right there. And then we've got the Raven Poncho. So there's also another thing that we should also be keeping an eye on, which is the amount of sales that we've had. So if I just quickly refresh, we are still seeing some issues with SCMM. The uh, data is still being a bit delayed based on what the Steam servers are like at the moment. Um, we, uh, Mr. Bipolar Penguin, the uh, creator of this website, uh, he can't change anything until Steam servers improve themselves. So if you've had problems with Steam, uh, SMM recently, it's not in control of the creator of the website, unfortunately. Right, so what was I trying to say? I was pointing out that we need to keep an eye on all of these sales. This is close to 40,000 sales. This has surpassed 35,000 sales. And yeah, it's it's clearly being a bit of a problem. So when we look over here and we see the bulk of the pile. <laughs> The bulk of the biodas are already going up to about 60 cents for a 99 cent skin. Not surprised at all. Why? How many poncho skins have we had recently? Far too many. Far too many poncho skins have appeared in such a short amount of time. In two months we've had five poncho skins. And we used to hardly ever see them. We'd probably see one a year. Now we've had five in two months. It's ridiculous. And because of that, because of so many in such a short amount of time, well... Yeah, they uh, they haven't really had time to flourish. They haven't really had time to become nice investments. And unfortunately, with uh, another poncho skin appearing every other week, well, you know, why would you want to stay loyal to this one when you can get the nice, new, cool-looking one? You know, it's kind of like the AKs in a weird way. So yeah, this is a problem that we've seen recently, and we might be seeing it again with the likes of Disco Masks. So, yes... That's gone down in price. The cultist disc on mask that appeared during Halloween is starting to go down in price because we got a new one so soon, and we might see another new one soon, potentially today. Yes, there is another disc on mask on the workshop with a poncho, so there's actually another combo of a poncho and a disc on mask. Will we see it today? I'm not 100% sure. But what else could we see today? Well, we might see lightweight hoodie and pants. Yes. Quick refresh, get a good look at this. Lightweight hoodie and pants could be appearing today. We saw the version 3 appear last week. Obviously didn't see it for the last week's Rustle Rotation, but could we see it today? Let's wait and see. Get a good eye on all of these quantities, because if we do see that lightweight hoodie and pants appear, then, then, well, <laughs> the reactionary nature of the Rust economy, you're going to see a whole bunch of these randomly disappear from the market and prices go up. Well, not randomly, it's, uh, it's expected, because... Uh, people are going to be super invested into the set then because it's now finally complete. Do you want to dress up like a robot? Wait, don't, wait no, you, you, you're not necessarily a robot, but you're all metallic and whatnot. It looks cool. It's a complete set. People want it. People who play Rust like to have full sets. They like to look good. Simple as that. And then we've got apostate. So we saw the likes of uh, hoodie and pants. Hoodie and pants appeared... Uh, Apostate hoodie and pants appeared, what, just before Halloween? So we're talking about three, four weeks ago? Blimey, it's been a while, hasn't it? So yes, been quite some time, and these prices did go below their Rustor price for a while. Then, last week, we saw the appearance of Apostate Tier 3, and this week, uh, if you've seen my uh, Tuesday Workshop skin checks, we've seen Tier 2 appear. Yes, Mr. Multi Hat, uh, also known as Eduardo, also known as Boris who I've started to call multi-name, he uh, rushed out uh, his Tier 3 and Tier 2 very quickly. And we potentially might see the likes of uh, those appear today. Will we see Apostate Tier 3 or Tier 2 appear today? I don't know. But I do know if we do see either of those appear, the price of these hoodie and pants, they're going to go high. They're going to go high. <laughs> so yeah, they're going to go up in price. So, cool. Awesome. Then we got, potentially, maybe, still, could we see JPEG, you know, I should refine that so you only see the uh, clothing and armour, could we see the likes of JPEG Tier 3? Now, JPEG Tier 3 came out a long time ago. 
Um, I'm talking probably the end, uh, the end of September. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, but you never know. Could we see some extra late picks appearing today? It could very well happen. If we see that tier 3 JPEG appear, what could happen? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if tons of people start buying out the uh, roadside kilt. Roadside kilt obviously being more important than the other pieces of the tier 2 because it goes with the uh, rest of the um, ideal best setup, that being tier 3 with the kilt and the hoodie and the pants. We know. we talked about core pieces many times in the past. So... What might we see today? Will we see lightweight? Will we see apostate? Will we see JPEG? We could potentially see some light. We we, we could see some more chainmail. You know that's another uh, another good one. Chainmail, yeah. So we've had chainmail poncho, and we might see chainmail hide clothing uh, skins. We've also potentially got the potential to see Arctic clothing uh, hide clothing. So. Uh, it's part of the collection with Arctic Camo Poncho, and that has over a thousand uh, quantity. I am not surprised. It's doomed. It's ruined. Yeah! <laughs> this is what happens when we have far too many poncho skins in such a short amount of time. Okay, so, um, do you know that uh, if you want to get the links for the new regular skins, so we've got three regular skins that will be appearing, that being the Raven Deer Skull Mask, the welded metal uh, sleeping bag, and of course the recycler SAR. If you go to the SCMM website, you just need to click Marketplace, and ta-da, I've got the link. It's ready, it's prepared, I have them all here. Refresh, refresh, refresh. It's all there, it's all set up, I'm good. Now I've just got to wait for the rustle rotation. So yeah, this is, uh, this is this, this, this is it, yeah. I don't know what to expect. What could we see? Well, again, if you saw my uh, Tuesday workshop skin checks, uh, give that a watch every now and then because, uh, well, every week, because I'll be doing one every week from now on, you can get a good insight for what potentially might be seen. And we saw a lot of double door skins. We saw a lot of double door skins this week. We might see some more. Whether it's going to be sheet metal double door, whether it's going to be armoured double door, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of potential, and we know double door skins tend to do very nicely in terms of investments. So again, I repeat, if you want to get a good uh, insight to what potentially might be appearing soon, you need to go ahead and look at those um, skin check uh, videos that I do every week from now on. So, I think we've talked about abnormals. With the regular skins, what might we want to offer when they appear? Well, with the likes of the Raven Deer Skull Mask, I did talk about this last night with the Abnormals. At the end of that video, I said, right, should we discuss what we might want to offer for these, based on what we see in terms of the sales so far? Well, I'll stick with that point. With a Raven Deer Skull Mask, I would offer to the equivalent of 40 to 50 cents. I am a bit worried about it. I am expecting potentially to see some more Deer Skull Mask skins appear soon as well. I am going to offer between 40 to 50 cents. It does look cool, but I'm cautious about seeing even more skins appearing soon. Then we got the welded, uh, welded metal sleeping bag. Uh, the guy that made the skin, he didn't add any more in terms of a collection. Will it turn into a collection? I'm not sure. But what I also did was I checked and saw, right, what's the cheapest uh, sleeping bag selling for? It's, uh... no, that can't be right. I did newest. I'm an idiot. Lowest, 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 lowest price. <laughs> lowest. <clears throat> the lowest priced sleeping bag right now is a uh, dollar sixteen. This is holiday themed. This is holiday themed. This is holiday themed. You might notice that trend. Holiday themed skins tend to sell quite badly. But anyway, um, they don't go below a dollar. It seems sleeping bags tend to hold up very nicely. However, what's unique about this is it's just not super colourful. It's just kind of it's a bit dull. Now, the only, re the only way I could see that potentially gaining traction, gaining value, is if it does turn into a collection. If that happens, yes, it could very likely do very well. But based on what I see here, and me being a bit cautious, I'm only going to offer around 70 to 90 cents, maybe 70 cents to a dollar. Yeah, 70 cents to a dollar. It didn't sell that much, though. That's another thing. But to be super safe, 70 cents to a dollar is what I'm going to offer. Then we've got the Recycler SAR. Now, the one thing I'm cautious about in regards to this is we've had a lot of SAR skins recently. A lot of SAR skins, and they're not doing super great. <laughs> down 12%, down 18%, down 17%, down 31%, down 25%. Yeah, and these have appeared, like, fairly recent. So what I'm going to sit here and say is, yes, it didn't sell that much compared to the others. 
that is a positive. Uh, maybe not for the skin creator, but in terms of the investor, if you were to buy into these, it's looking okay. And uh, one thing we could also do is see what's the cheapest selling SAR skin right now. A dollar. And why is this? Why are there ones that sell around a dollar? Well, remember, with weapon skins, with tools, with red grade skins, you can always turn them into metal. Metal always usually sells for around a dollar. So that usually seems to be the safe spot. So with this new SAR skin, what am I going to offer? I would sit here and say I would offer between 90 cents to a dollar ten. I think it looks cool. I think it's nice and nice to look at. I think it's neat. Maybe we'll see a recycler collection appear sometime soon. If that does happen, I'm sure this would increase in value. But at the moment, I have to be cautious. I've seen plenty of skins come out in the past couple of weeks and they've gone down in price very quickly. I'm going to look at that and I'm going to sit there and say 90 cents to $1.10. That's what I would do. Okay, cool. Right, so um, maybe just one extra thing to look at. The trophy. <laughs> so someone actually commented on the video uh, talking about the Twitch Rivals trophy. He uh, he pointed out, ah ha ha, I've managed to sell mine. I've succeeded. So uh, yeah, someone very recently did sell. Oh wait, that's two. One, two. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Someone has managed to sell theirs for over $115. Oh God. <laughs> it's happened. So yeah, this is still happening. And let me reiterate this over and over and over again do not buy this twitch rivals trophy it's not super special it's not super rare this was given away for free during the twitch rivals event and i wouldn't be surprised if we see this being dropped again in the near future during the next twitch rivals event on twitch so it's not special it's nothing do not waste your money if you buy this it's instantly non-tradable non-marketable forever it was an accidental glitched item that was never meant to be marketable but unfortunately during a two hour time frame people managed to sell theirs at a very ridiculously high price and a lot of people are being fooled into jumping in and buying these they're not rare they were given away for free there's plenty of them in existence it's just they're not tradable not marketable so yeah right then gentlemen so that is the current batch of skins quick refresh don't see anything how unfortunate so I don't know how long we're going to be waiting for, it's going to be quite a while, but uh, maybe it'll be in 10 minutes, maybe it'll be an hour, maybe it'll be two hours, maybe it'll be three hours, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to finding out. But for now, for you YouTube people, we can just skip ahead. What does the rust work? Rust, 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 rust. Giveaways, giveaways, no more. Get out of my way. Giveaways. Right, so item definition update. Okay, so. There we go. Double doors. Double doors. Double doors. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No armor and clothing. No armor and clothing. What? Okay. Well, okay. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That took a while as well. So, what do we have here? Skins by Eros. Two skins by Eros. Wait, that's strange. Right, okay, so that is uh, typical, that is early, that's also early. Wasn't that the glow-in-the-dark one? It does not glow, no, there was another one that was glow-in-the-dark. So prototype 60, <laughs> yeah, okay, that was a funny idea, that worked out quite well. So uh, yeah, that's a uh, early pick, this is early as well, this is a, a lot of early picks. Early, yep. Yeah. And uh, early. So there's only one typical pick and everything else is early. Okay. No more. No more. All right. Well, okay. Guess that happened. Right. So the new skins have appeared. Um, we did get another double door. It is a sheet metal double door. Unfortunately, not Mr. Micro, Mr. Morphosis one. But still, you know, good job there to Mr. Cubist. So if we look over to here. And of course, yep. And the regular skin should start appearing soon so how did i know what was going on um in my uh, server we have the SUMM bot and it said item definitions were updated and that clearly means that the new items new skins have started to go through i'm just very surprised to notice that there's just no 
Um, no. Uh, clothing and armour. I'm very surprised by that. Are we going through another drought for no reason whatsoever? There's plenty of clothing and armour skins out on the workshop. I just don't know what's going on. Or the week... Oh, no, wait, because Charitable Rust is next week. I don't know what to say. I'm confused. Store has updated. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm well ahead of you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> so uh, I want to do my buy orders here first. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So I've got to wait for the buy orders to appear, and then we'll discuss everything else. So let's get those buy orders out of the way. Then we'll discuss all the new skins. We'll discuss what's going to be a good investment. You get the idea. So. Alrighty, hello. So, uh, there we go. Yep, so uh, new skins and which ones are abnormal. Let's just quickly find that out. Do, 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 do. So, Cobalt Container Double Door, that's abnormal. The uh, Cyber Code LR300 is not abnormal. The El Diablo Python, which is spelt incorrectly, is uh, not abnormal. The JPEG Metal Door is abnormal. The uh, Military Star is not abnormal. The Predatory MP5 is not abnormal. The Prototype 16 Sap is not abnormal. And the Tomb Gate Armored Door is abnormal. That's all the skins of the week. So, all the doors are abnormal, all the weapons are not. Okay. Right, so now we're going to we're just going to quickly talk about all the skins that just became marketable. So the regular skins, Raven Deer Skull Mask. Let's get a quick look at the buy order build up. So buy orders mostly sticking around fifty cents. You've got a ten there, ten there, ten there, ten there, ten there. Yeah, um, with the amount that sold. Ooh, yeah, it's a bit iffy. It's a bit weird. Um, obviously, we didn't see a Deer Skull Mask appear this week. And will we see one next week? That's something we need to discuss because we need to talk about we need to talk about next week. But let's just talk about this so far. Um, with the amount that sold, I am worried it's oversaturated. And um, basically, if we do see more relatively soon compared to now, uh, it's going to be the poncho all over again. So that's something that we need to be cautious about. But even then, with the amount that's sold, and obviously with the cultist deer skull mask that literally just happened very soon, I don't think it's going to hold its price. I don't think it's going to ma maintain the 99 cent region. And the buy orders clearly aren't going all the way up to around 99 cents. So I don't think it's going to hold. That's unfortunate. And as you just saw, someone just put down a 3,000 request. That's fake. Do you see that right there? Do you see that right there? Fake buy order. Fake pretend um, investment. A lot of people, when they see this skin regularly, look what they see. They just see that. They don't see where the 3,000 requests are. But from what we can see, right there, three cents each. That's a fake buy order trying to give it fake demand. Trying to trick people into thinking, oh yes, this definitely is in demand. It has over 3,000 requests to buy. Nope. Fake buy order. So don't be fooled by that. It's not going to do well, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, now we've got the welded metal sleeping bag. Only two, almost 300 requests to buy. And the buy orders, well, uh, I've lost... Uh, there we go, now it works. Um, it's up to a dollar-ish. No, it isn't. Right, so the bulk of the buy order seems to be around... Well, it's got the 80 cent one right here. And then you've got the around 90 cents here, and that's really it. Yes, you got one at a dollar. Um, this one's going to be pretty questionable. Yes, not everybody is fully aware that the rust door has rotated, but I don't imagine it's going to be maintained at that $1.49 price. So, yes, I was right to assume maybe a 90 cent buy order would be a, a decent option to go for. And then we've got the Recycler Saar. Well done, Mr. Kelmo Legend. Congratulations on your second skin that was accepted, but will it be a good investment? Well, we've got problems. So, before this SAR appeared, we had two uh, SAR skins appear on the trot. Basically, first week of Halloween, we had a SAR skin. Second week of Halloween, we had a SAR skin. The week after Halloween, we got this skin. And what do we just see today? Another SAR skin. This is looking a bit troubling, because with so many skins for a, sp for a particular art uh, item in such a short amount of time, well, much like with the ponchos and whatnot, they're not gonna. They're not gonna thrive. They're not gonna really rise up in price that much. This is a problem, and unfortunately, we can see signs of that happening because people do not trust this in terms of being an investment. Bulk of the buy orders only around a dollar. So I'm very sorry to have said that, but that's basically what's happening. Um, yeah. So, yep, yeah, that is the current state of things. These skins. 
they don't have a lot of demand. <laughs> or at least they're not close to the prices that they sold for in the Rust store. Yes, you've got a $1.20 by order there, but... Oh, look, that 3,000 request has disappeared. My good call. So let's close that. And refresh. SMM, show me what you've got. So unfortunately, lightweight, no skins for you. Unfortunately, with apostate, no skins for you. And JPEG, well, no skins for you. It's very weird. We did not see any clothing or armor skins this week. Now, is it because we might see a whole bunch of clothing and armor skins next week? Very likely could be the answer. But it's very disappointing to see hardly any green skins. Green grade skins, that being clothing and armor. Um, I just don't know. Shrug, don't know. Maybe it's just going to be a big fat week of just clothing and armor skins next week. Well, what we should also point out is next week is also Charitable Rust. So if you don't fully know what that is, Charitable Rust event is going to be a whole bunch of streams. It's going to be a whole bunch of um, events going on, all for Charity, the uh, charity, the World Central Kitchen. Um, keep an eye out. It starts and, well, it goes on between November 19 and November 20. We're going to get some Rust... Uh, <clears throat> Charitable Rust themed skins, World uh, Central Kitchen skins. We know what they are. We know what they are. We already know what the Twitch drops are. So yes, free skins just by watching these special streams that are for charity. But there's also going to be four of them that are going to sell next week. But we'll save that for afterwards. Let's focus these new skins. So we've already established which ones are the, uh, of these are abnormal. Um, is that honestly going to be called Pi... <laughs> <laughs> He spelled it wrong. Why wasn't it fixed? It's Pitten. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, so, um, new skins. Right, let's get started. What's looking to be the best things to go after? With my instant... It's the double door. It's the double door. I talked about this earlier. Double door skins, very reliable investments. We have not seen many double door skins this year, although this is the third... Double sheet metal double door skins to have appeared this year. Um, recently, we did we did see two appear. That being the um, storage room door double door, and then we saw the uh, what was it? It was the constellations double door. That's it. Yes. How well are they doing at the moment? Let's go take a look at you two because we thought they'd be pretty. Oh, they're in the positive. Yeah, yeah. Even when we're going through the bad times, it's doing good. So, what's special about that cobalt container double door? Well, there is uh, something that you might notice in its workshop page. The glow in the dark appears to be only in the upper part. Remember what we talked about with Mr. Micro when he showcased his demonic raven door. It's strategic to have the lighting only in the upper part. Now, we'll probably, we will need to go show this off in a Saturday Skin Showcase to see how much of it lights up. Uh, we can only guess so much from the... Oh, well, there you go. So it does seem to be um, the bit just below there. So let's get a daytime pick. Right, okay. So it might not be as good as I assumed. It, the light seems to stop around here. And when you duck, your head is around there. So it's good, but it's not the best. This door glows way too bright. Okay, yeah. All right, it might not be as good as we envisioned. But still... For all those people out there that like those down-to-earth DIY type of skins, look what we got right here for you. It is quite literally stolen from a container. <laughs> but, you know, people like this, and it's a good thing. Good job there, Mr. Cubist. I saw it, and I thought, you know, that's going to be a pretty good shout. Um, yeah, so you beat Mr. Micro, Mr. Morphus. <laughs> Aren't you happy, Micro? <laughs> hey, it might not be... Uh, this week, but it might be next week or the week after. We know. We know how this works. Right, so, um, that's the one positive thing. Now we've got everything else. Okay, here we go. So, uh, revolver skins. Yeah, let's get a good look at you. How good are revolver skins at the moment in terms of investments? Yeah! Down 50, down 49, down 1. Well, that one's doing all right. That one got manipulated. Uh, that one, down 44. So yeah, revolver skins... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, not uh, not a good thing to look at right there. Okay, what about um, sap skins? Yeah, sap skins. We like sap skins. Sap skins, cool. Sap skins, yeah. Sap skins. Ah, oh, damn. All right, 16, uh, down 16, down 29, down 45, down 48, down 45. Yes, unfortunately. And the black gold is down 27 as well. Yeah, 
unfortunately, um, yeah, that's not looking too good either. Okay, so can we, can we see some positivity? Emmy? Uh, oh, I'm a door. Surely uh, the very best door uh, item. Yes, surely that's going to get great valued. Uh, oh, dear. Okay, well, we got problems. Yes. Uh, it seems the only positive thing is going to be the double door. Armoured door skins, we've seen far too many of them this year. In all of 2022, we have seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is number 11, right? They're all negative. Why? Far too many in just one year. How many did we see in 2021? One. One. <laughs> How many did we see in 2020? Uh, 2020? One, two. How many did we see in 2019? One, two, three. Do you notice a pattern or uh, a problem? <laughs> far too many armoured door skins. This used to be a rare sight to see. Now it isn't. And because we've had far too many come out in such a... Well, I mean, it's a year. But still, far too many in a year. Uh, they've never really had time to flourish. A lot of these have really, 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 really squandered and died. And yeah, it's not very good. Uh, I own quite a lot of these and I will be giving them away. Uh, not giving them away. Well, I, I have done giveaways to give them away. I do giveaways pretty much every day on, on my Twitch. But anyway, um, I'll be selling them during post-Christmas because that just feels like the best potential prices I could get. And even then, I don't think I'll be able to sell them for a lot. So we, now that we've got a new one, you might sit there and say, oh, but what about that one? No, unfortunately, I just, I just don't. I just don't. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. LR 300s. Yeah. Great gun. Yeah. Uh, uh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Wait. Neo Soul. What happened to you? What's going on there? Uh, oh, okay. Manipulation. Yep. So, just randomly. Yeah. 40. Right there. You can see it right there. 40. There. Someone bought 40 of them. And now? Now they're expensive? No, 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 no. The builders don't even match up to it. So this is manipulation. When did that happen? November 9. Yesterday. Okay, well, okay then, there you go. Um, if you happen to own any uh, Neo Soul LR300s... Um, do I? So if they're going to manipulate that... Neo Soul... Uh, I don't. Huh. Oh no, I do. 12. Still, you know, that's still good. If they manipulate that up to about $10, I could make a decent bit of money. So I'm happy with that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> you don't want to rely upon a skin to get manipulated. Down 42, down 57, down 40, down 51, down 58, down... Yeah, you get the idea. They're, they're not good. Cybercode LR300, I'm sorry to say. Um, I just don't imagine it's going to do very well. And I'm very surprised to see Mr. Eros get two skins accepted in the same week. It's uncommon. Don't normally see it. So... Good job today to Eros, Cubist, Anubis Dunk, Wirecat, GBG, Robstar, and Mr. Verona. Right, so JPEG Metal Door. The JPEG collection does continue, but not the JPEG Tier 3 that we were waiting for forever. <laughs> so this came out back in halfway through September. And yes, 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 we did have Halloween happen. That did happen. Yes, it did. But... We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Still have not seen that appear. I think it's probably time we could probably start giving up. And I sit there and say that and then randomly it'll appear next week. <laughs> well, um, hopes dashing. GBG, I know you've been making a lot of uh, deployables and weapon skins recently. You are now fine to go ahead and make your hoodie and pants. Um, and it was strategic to wait for a while to see if there's going to be anything happening with your JPEG tier 3. Didn't happen. You're perfectly fine to go ahead and make either a version 2 of your uh, tier 3 or go ahead and make some hoodie and pants. Um, I think it's perfectly fine to do that now. Now with your door, unfortunately, doors, door skins, it doesn't glow. Which, you know, isn't the end of the world, but like, uh, yeah... We've had a lot of sheet metal single doors come out this year. And, uh, yeah. Noticing a pattern, aren't we, chat, YouTube? We're noticing a pattern. Well, here's that SAR skin. So this was made by Robstar. So if this was accepted, they didn't pick... They didn't select his hoodie and pants. They picked this instead. Could that indicate that we see the hoodie and the pants next week? I don't know. It's just guessing. 
It's just guessing. Again, no clothing. We've been in a position like this before. Where we saw like a, a couple of weeks of hardly any clothing. And then we got a massive, insane amount of clothing. Um, I think the last real noticeable thing that we had that for was... Was it s summer? I swear we had like a week where we just saw a ton of clothing skins accepted. Uh, well, complete the sets clearly had tons because, well, that's where it mattered most. But if I recall, we had during the summer, we had uh, weeks where we just didn't see any clothing. So August 25. Yep, yep, yep. So two weeks of nothing. And then we got JPEG tier, fr uh, tier 2. And then September 8, we saw, uh, yeah, quite a decent batch there. So... Maybe we're just uh, rolling up to potentially seeing some more uh, clothing skins next week. That very likely could be the answer. But the military SAR, let's just focus that. Military SAR, well, I pointed this out earlier. We've seen four military SAR skins in the past four weeks. No, uh, mi uh, four semi-automatic rifle skins in the past four weeks. Four weeks, and that's looking to be a bit of a problem because... With so many skins out in such a short amount of time, they're all bottlenecking each other, they're all competing with each other. You know, if someone bought a skin in the past four weeks, why would they want to buy another one? And then you get the idea. So they don't feel the need to buy it. They don't feel the need to buy it when it's in the Steam market. The price never really goes anywhere. The demand isn't there. It, yeah. Yeah. That's basically it. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, that is the situation. Um, not looking good. None of, it's li <laughs> None of it's looking good. So uh, then we got the Predatory MP5 made uh, by Mr. Verona. So, uh, MP5 skins. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Well, so MP5 dropped off, unfortunately. Uh, not doing very nicely. Um, yeah, you can't really consider this price correct at the moment. Leave it a week or two, then look at it, then see what its price is. Uh, it's only been marketable for... Uh, uh, not even a day, so I don't care about this one too much. We'll look at the rest of these. Retroblast, JPEG, uh, Digital Carbon, Zebra, MP5. Yeah, they're not looking good, are they? Uh, ever since the uh, recall update, MP5 dropped off, doesn't get used as much anymore. Lower gun demand, lower demand to use the skins, lower skin prices. Not the best thing to jump into, unfortunately. So if you are, uh, remember, remember, if you look at these and you think, oh, wow, well, but I like it, that's fine. Buy it, use it, enjoy it. That's that's fine. Do that. But I'm, I'm talking in terms of investing. I'm talking in terms of what looks like something I could make a decent profit out of over the potential short term or the long term. And at the moment, it's only the couple container double door. <laughs> Sheet metal double door skins. We have not seen a lot of them, and now we have kind of seen a lot of it, a reasonable amount, and even then, even then, let's go look at these two. There's only 28 of them on the market. Well, that only helps it more and more. That Constellation's Double Door is looking mighty fine. That's looking great. Yes, no worries, no issues, no big fat quantities, no problems, no resistance. All good, all good. Post Christmas time, that's going to get pretty expensive. Now we'll look at the Room Door Collection one, the Storage Room Double Door. 21 on the market. Where did they all go? This had like 15,000 sales. <laughs> the buy orders. Doesn't even write... Yeah, it's just got hardly any quantity. Did someone buy them all out? No, they're rising in price. What's going on? They're rising. They're rising in price. I guess there's demand for it. Maybe their prices might go, might go down a little bit because we just got a new one. That very likely could be an answer. But um, that's looking pretty positive. Yes, it's a $3 skin. How much was the other ones? I should have seen that before I closed the thing. I am an idiot. So this sold for $2.49. This sold for $2.49. Hardly any of them in the market. Doing pretty nice. That's selling for $3. That's selling for $4.16. That's it. That, 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 that That's the only one. <laughs> that is the only one. The only one skin that I'm looking at right now. And I can sit there and say, I think that's going to be a decent um, investment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, everything else. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's as simple as that. So, uh, that was quite quick, wasn't it? Yeah, there's not, not much to say. You know, I, I, I justified everything. I pointed out all the problems. Only the double doors looking good. So, shall we start discussing what we're potentially going to see next week? So, if we just quickly look onto the item section over here, we can see some of those charitable rust skins. So, what are these? 
what we have here is a garage door, a bow, uh, some pants, a hammer, and a fridge. Yeah, five skins are right here. These are your Twitch drops. I can quickly point this out. So, yep, this is for next week's uh, event going on on Twitch. Charity. Uh, so, if we just quickly go to Twitch, face punch. What do I see? Take me to there. We've got the rustified uh, general skins here. Uh, yeah, they're all general drops. So, oh, no, I got this wrong. You have to watch the rustified uh, Twitch account. You have to watch the rustified Twitch account to get these two skins. And then you just have to watch any Twitch uh, stream that's on Rust to get these skins. So you could just, you know, break, uh, uh, just watch the rustified stream and you'll get these as well at the same time. But remember, 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 you need to uh, have your account linked up with, uh, so basically you need to sign in. And then you need to um, connect your Steam account with your Twitch account. Then you'll get the drops. Remember to do that. Okay, so those are the five skins there. But we will have marketable skins. Um, not marketable. I'm incorrect to say that. Uh, do you remember last year? So last year we had uh, four skins. And it was just them all by themselves. We just had these four charitable Rust skins. Well, for this year apparently... We're going to have the chef uh, hoodie, this and this and this. So next week we are expecting the chef hoodie um, to go with those pants in the Twitch drops. We will have, so uh, let's just take a look at this. This is the one thing that we really need to keep an eye out for. What do you see right there? It's another double door skin. Yes, it glows in the dark, but, but do you see that? You can see through the window. I think it's a bit blurry. Mr. Micro, we will have to show that off, won't we? We will have to show that off. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Right, so that's going to be for sale next week. And it's not going to be marketable. Judging by the routine with many charitable Ruskins before, these ones in particular, they weren't marketable. But we have had charitable rust. We've we've had charity skins before that were marketable. It's awkward. So there's no guarantees. But we would expect these uh, new charitable rust 2022 skins to be non-marketable as well. So the opportunity there is there to buy it. If you don't buy it, you're never going to get the opportunity to buy it ever again. That is a see-through double door. So what are you waiting for? Charitable Rust 2022, a box, a large box to be specific, glows in the dark, very bright, very interesting, very nice. And then over to here we have a SAR. It's a colourful SAR. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, another SAR skin. Hooray! That, those SAR skin investments are sounding great right now, aren't they? So, um, you'd at least know that we're probably not going to see a different SAR skin and a different large box skin, and a different double door skin next week. Because, apparently, we are going to actually see something different compared to last year. We're going to have eight normal skins, and uh, the charitable Ross skins as well. I, 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 I don't fully know. I'm hearing different things. I'm hearing from skin creators that we're going to have four charitable Ross skins, and eight normal skins for the Rust rotation. It, this is awkward. This is a bit awkward. But... We will wait and see. Because I was under the assumption that it was going to be like last year with only four skins. Um, I actually sold a lot of my apostate. So now you can see the reaction I just had with the recent Rustle rotation. I saw this and I realised, well, hang on a minute. I misunderstood. I thought that we wouldn't see um, any of the, uh, <laughs> the uh, apostate potentially next week. I expected prices to get real bad. I actually just sold a bunch of my skins to the highest buy order here. So there's no proper guarantees. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I probably did that a bit too early. Just a bit. Just a bit, Hedge. Just a bit. <laughs> Oops. Right, well, um, I'll see what happens with that in the end. Um, so, yeah. Not 100% sure, but I know 100%... Get your account linked up, and if you want to donate for a good cause, Charitable Rust will be going on. You can just simply offer your time and watch. 
You can donate money as well. You can buy the new skins next week. And I'm pretty sure, 100%, a lot of you are going to want to get that double door. That double door is uh, a little bit too helpful to not want. Now, I need a good... So is that blurry? That doesn't look blurry. That looks perfectly fine. You can see that perfectly fine. It's it's advantageous. Yes. Pay to win. For charity. <laughs> so that's what we've got to look forward to next week. Um, best of luck to everybody. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, shall we get a quick, quick look and see what's on the front page? Apostate. Not surprised. Uh, you know, uh, impatient people. Uh, if well tactical as well I assumed that we wouldn't see apostate tier 2 or tier 3 potentially for the next two or so weeks I thought it was going to suffer um, but it might actually still appear next week we might get 8 regular skins next week with the 4 charitable rust skins <sighs> is that a mistake? let's find out let's see if you made a mistake Mr Hedge so this is the current sales so far I think this is going to be the one that sells the best we'll see we'll see so Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed yourself.